Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Tom Pappas. Welcome to the Founder BB Show. Thanks for having me. Well, we're broadcasting live in Dallas, Texas. My audience is really anticipating. They say you're really, really funny. <laughs> I am funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's, you're funnier when other people say it, and they're saying you're really funny. So thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you very much. I want to remind my uh, audience that Tom has done uh, stand-up for over 20 years. That's an enduring you know, career. So you got something. You got something <laughs> that people love, Tom. Yeah, I just don't stop. <laughs> okay, we're going to talk about faith, though. Yeah, we're going to talk about food. And tell me how food and comedy are intersecting on the Food Network. Yeah, I have an exciting new show where I travel around the country and I introduce you to all the best baked goods that I can find. This amazing, beautiful food, sticky buns and breads and cakes and donuts. I started baking bread a couple of years ago uh, with my family. I started baking sourdough bread and it was uh, life changing. I just, the, the joy that the family was having, we're eating these amazing tasting things, the smell of bread going through the house, and I just got addicted to it. And then I started traveling around and visiting different bakeries and speaking to the, the bakers and trying to learn a little bit about it. And we're like, well, maybe this is a show. Why should I be the only one that gets to see all of this? So now I bring it to you. <laughs> all right. So you're going from coast to coast and city to city and, and showing us these maybe just little small bakeries and these really big bakeries? Yeah, exactly. We've hit um, some like really big producers of bread. Then we hit these really small shops that just make pies all these different ethnic backgrounds. We have Middle Eastern and Polish and Italian. And I mean, this country is so filled with all of these great people from these great backgrounds who came to this country. And thankfully, they brought their recipes with them. And, and, and we get to discover all of it. It's, it's, a, it's amazing what's out there. It is amazing. Uh, I think Everybody loves bread. I'm, you know, the majority of people love bread, and we can all identify with what bread is. So this is just a, a, a great idea. So you're going to be kicking this off in New York City? Yeah, we start off um, next Monday at 10 p.m. East on the Food Network, and we start off in New York City, and then an episode comes right after that uh, where we go to Detroit. Okay, I'm going to take this Facebook question because I thought it was important. They want to know, are you going to do any gluten-free anything? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We'll get to the gluten people. We'll help you out. And we don't want to leave anybody out. <laughs> okay, so you're going to help us discover bread and, and all the good things that go in bread. Uh, what did you learn from, from doing this show so far? The thing I learned, which was pretty remarkable, and I, I, it's kind of obvious, but I think just being reminded of it when I was doing the show was was um, was pretty great, is that if you open a place in a city and you really care about what you're making and you're really passionate about baking these cakes or baking this bread or your donuts, whatever it is that you're baking, if you really put your heart and soul into it, the community is changed. People gravitate towards you, towards your great ingredients, towards they start to feel the love that you have. And it's not that different from feeding your family. These people really dedicate their life to this, this art, and they're feeding the community, and it literally changes that little part of the city. And for me, that was the most inspiring thing. So if we can go around and show you this amazing food and make you drool and also have some laughs with these people, I think that that's a really special thing. Well, more on a personal level, you see it changing uh, people, showing them all of this. So you're going to Detroit and Boston, Los Angeles, Philadelphia, New Orleans, and other places. Yeah. Did it change you? Yeah. It's, it's, you know, you realize you don't need a bakery in a town. <laughs> you know, you need the police, you need the fire department. 
a bakery, that's, that's an extra little thing just so you can enjoy yourself, just so you can go and have a, a moment with your friends and your family or yourself and just treat yourself. Life is short. These things are out there. We should be celebrating it and enjoying it. And for me, that's really the, the thing that changed me. It was just like, wait a minute. We're here. Life is to be celebrated. And this is the stuff that will help you celebrate. Well, we're excited for Baked on the Food Network. I got to ask you real quick before I got to go. Yeah. 2019, what are we going to see you on, on the big screen or the little screen? Oh, I'm going to be uh, all over the place. I've, uh, I have another comedy special that's going to be coming out. I think I'm coming to Dallas uh, pretty soon to do live stand-up. So, I'll, yeah, I'll be seeing you real soon. We got to get tickets because they told me you're fantastic. <laughs> I've never seen you in person. Well, you have to. I'll we have to change that. I'll be front and center. I want to thank you, Tom Pappas, for doing Baked on the Food Network. I can vicariously watch and probably not gain a pound. So thanks for being my guest on the Belder BB Show. Thank you so much.